I want to say we are Tulips. Thank you for coming. Uh, Tulips formed in, uh, well, we did our first show in May, May the 10th, 2008. So yeah, it's been a bit over a year. And um, yeah, it's been going as, about as well as it, it could go, I suppose. We, um, we, we did write 10 songs in our first, um, first day that we went into rehearsal room, which everybody, everybody seems to know because we get asked about it all the time. Um, and then we went back the next day and did the same thing. But we, we wrote like maybe 60 or 70 songs this uh, in, in like, I suppose, eight months. And then we, we, we've made a 10 track album. So you would hope with those, uh, with those odds that they'd be 10 quality tracks. <laughs> I don't know, I wouldn't say we were electro, but I would say we, we make some electronic, we use a lot of ele ele electronic instruments. Um, and, but you know, we are a band. I, I think the thing that differentiates us from <clears throat> the things that we've been compared to and a lot of the things that have come out this year, like LaRue and Little Boots and stuff, is that we, we are a band. Um, and yeah, I, I think it's, you know, we make sort of classic sounds. It's future classic pop. When it came to the album, we, I think we surprised ourselves in how experimental it became. Uh, we had all these demos, and some of them we'd gone back to like three or four times, which I think we even we knew at the time. It's like you know you're, you're making tracks at home. It's just it's just stupid going back and touching it up and touching it up because you've had a new idea. It's like you know leave them be until you go and make them proper rec you know proper record in, in the studio. So we had like all these tracks and we sort of shortlisted 16 and we wanted to make a 10 track debut album because it's the classic length of the debut album. Um, and, then we, and then when we started like testing out, kind of like, uh, yeah, auditioning um, producers and we tried a couple of people and they were all good but we had a kind of a connection with David Coston who did the last two Back for Lashes records uh, who is possibly a genius and um, so I think he brought out a really experimental side of us um, and you know there's new sections there's a lot of new sounds I just think it kind of takes it beyond it's not just a better version of us it's a kind of it's the best version of us it could be